Hey y'all, this is Jason with the Rising Suns, and we are going to show you how we prepared our 472 pound bluefin tuna that we caught in the Gulf Coast Masters. So this is us cleaning the fish on the dock. So basically what they did is they broke it up into big chunks and they took it over to the cleaning table and separated it into gallons of black bags to take home. Um, obviously we did not cook all of this fish for ourselves but we spread it between family and friends and uh, you know it fed a ton of people so we're very grateful for that and we cut it all down to tuna steaks when we got home and yeah so dad's going to show you how he, prepared, how he prepared a little bit of this tuna so I'll pass it over to dad. Hey this is Toby Team Rising Suns got lucky and caught us a giant bluefin this weekend so want to kind of share what should we do in the kitchen once we get the fish home so got our bluefin previous to us recording we put a little olive oil on the bottom of the pan to get it uh, ready kind of damped it dry with a paper towel and now we're gonna finish the seasoning part of it oh put a little olive oil on it never too much kind of spread the olive oil a little bit coated everything real good We get our good old slappy mama. A little slappy mama on there. Then we get us a little garlic salt. Or if you're really Cajun, it's garlic. Put a little bit of that on there. That's us. Now we're about to go put it on the grill and check back in a few minutes. Now that we got our bluefin all prepped and ready to cook, now we're going to start making our special cream sauce. This uh, cream sauce is, uh, I call it JC's sauce from our good friend Juan Carlos on the white marlin that I fish with in El Salvador. Uh, kind of a Central American recipe. So uh, stay tuned. We'll show you some ingredients. So we start out with some onions. Kind of clean our onions up, cut them up a little bit. Like come so. Oh, I cut my finger off here. Whoo, I'm crying. I tell you, these onions are fresh. Now that we got our onions ready, now we get our old tasty jalapeno and we prep it to go. Kind of depending how hot you like it you can either leave the seeds in or leave the seeds out but this is a pretty hot fresh jalapeno so we're going to go ahead and remove the seeds on ours and we just kind of cut the jalapeno in some strips and just cut little small chunks So one little twist I add to my recipe for Mr. JC's is I put a little cilantro in there with it. So kind of try to just chop it up real small. Add a little different flavor. Now that we got everything cut up, move over to the stove here. Put this little olive oil and our onions, start cooking our onions down. We kind of cook them down to their good, nice, clear. Just starting the process here, and then we'll add our cream, the other jalapeno, cilantro, etc., and let it thicken on up. While the onions are cooking down, we got some homemade green beans we make. I like to cut our onions in little strings, like this. Fry them up good, about to put in some bacon and almonds and special seasoning. Some good old homemade green beans. So we cut us up a little bit of these strips of bacon, real small like that. Put on top of our onions in our wok. Now we're about to make some magic happen. All right, now we got our onions kind of that clear translucent color, we go ahead and add our crema. 
Got it in there. We're mixing it up a little bit. Now it's time to put in our jalapenos and our cilantro. Go ahead and scrape that on in there. And we just kind of stir it around. Mix it in real good. Just let it cook. Let that cream thicken up. We'll add us a little seasoning here in a minute once it warms up some so we can taste it. Put our bacon fry down a little bit and the onions getting right. We add us a little almonds in there. I like to add them a little early so they kind of cook and get a little crispy in there. I like that. Very precisely measured right there. All right, now that we got a fire nice and hot, we make a little room right here. We go ahead and pour our green beans in, some fresh green beans. Get them down there. We kind of scoop them old onions and put them on top. Now fire up hot. Try to kind of fry them green beans real, real, at a real hot fire to kind of scorch them, but leave them a little crunchy in the middle. Now that we got our green beans in there kind of mixed up, got an old bone collector Mac Daddy seasoning. This is some good stuff right here. Put it on there. Mix it on up a little bit. Got that hype fire, kind of char them green beans a little bit. Season up a little bit. We kind of sneak a little Italian seasoning in there. And you know we got to put some floppy mama. A little bit up in there. We stir it on up. She's starting to thicken up good. It's gonna be all right, now we got our pit preheated. We got it pretty warm, about almost 700 degrees. Got our tuna all prepped on a pan. We throw on there and wish her luck. All right, we got our green beans and our tuna plated up. A little bit of our cream sauce. Drizzle it on top. How about that, huh? Molly's wanting us to drop some. Say, please, give me some. 